Begin by allowing your body to become comfortable. Find a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's seated in a chair or a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Maybe it's standing or another posture. In any case, find a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Allow your body to become comfortable. as you settle into this posture, allow your body to relax. If you notice that there's muscular tension present anywhere in your body, gently invite that tension to relax. Perhaps there's tension in your jaws or your shoulders, your arms, your legs, your feet. If you find tension anywhere in your body, see if you can invite it to relax. Allow your body to become comfortable and relax. From here, if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. When we smile, our bodies gradually move towards being happier. So we can encourage that process by establishing and maintaining a smile on our faces. With your body comfortable and relaxed, and with a gentle, easy smile on your face, take a moment to enjoy this configuration of your body for just a moment, being comfortable and relaxed with a smile.
Very good. Now, having prepared your body for mindfulness practice, see if you can prepare your mind, easing your mind towards loving kindness. Bring to mind one or more things that you can summon a felt sense of gratitude for. What can you feel grateful for? Bring these things to mind and reflect on them. As you reflect on these things that you're grateful for, if you notice any resonance in the body, if you feel any positive emotions associated with gratitude, notice those feelings and really enjoy them. Continue to reflect on things that you feel grateful for, for another moment. Very good. Now, bring to mind a person that's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Maybe it's a real person or animal in your life. Perhaps a family member or a loved one, a small child or pet. It could even be someone imaginary perhaps just visualizing puppies or kittens, panda bear. Could be anyone at all, really. Select someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love towards. Your easy to love person or animal. And begin to cultivate a felt sense of love and care for this person or animal. You can do that by visualizing them, perhaps imagining them being happy, smiling or laughing or delighting in life. Or by using phrases like, May they be so happy. Or any phrase that resonates for you. Most important thing is to cultivate an attitude of loving kindness for your easy to love person or animal.
you may find that using images or phrases in your mind that one or the other is easier for you, more powerful for you, or more interesting for you tonight. In any case, simply practice cultivating this attitude of love and care and well-wishing for your easy-to-love person or animal. Continue to cultivate this loving kindness for another moment. Very good. Now, bring your awareness into your body, specifically your emotional body. This is primarily the area around your chest, your torso, and your stomach. It may also include your throat and your face. It's primarily centered around the emotional heart center in your chest, place your awareness in that part of your body. This area of your body is to the right of your anatomical heart, which is in the left side of your chest on your body. The emotional body is centered in the very center of your chest. Then sort of resonates outwards from there to include your stomach and your face and everything in between. So place your awareness there and feel what that region of your body feels like right now. It may be that there are feelings there associated with the gratitude practice or the cultivation of loving kindness for your easy to love person or animal. If there are any feelings of gratitude or love, warmth or happiness, notice them and really enjoy them. If those feelings are present, it's as if you're out at a fancy restaurant and you've ordered a delicious meal and you want to really enjoy the food. So you take your time and eat it slowly and with each bite, you really taste. What does this taste like? What does it feel like? You derive the maximum pleasure that you can from every bite. 
It's just the same way with feelings of love or loving kindness in the body. If those are present, we want to notice them and really enjoy them, moment by moment. Receiving the utmost enjoyment that we possibly can, even if it's small. The amount of pleasure might be small, but the attention we can bring to these sensations of joy and happiness can be enormous. So if there's any of these positive feelings, really enjoy them. It's also possible that there's not much happening emotionally for us. That we put our awareness into this part of our body and there's not much going on. Perhaps we can feel the physical body with warmth or itching, various vibratory sensations, pulsing, maybe our heartbeat. But we don't feel anything particularly emotionally at this time. If so, that's no problem. Doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. It's helpful in any case to cultivate this felt sense, this awareness for this region of your body. What we could call the emotional body. Just becoming aware of this region of our body and being attuned, being present, on the lookout for any emotions that may arise. If there's not much happening for you emotionally, just be aware. Be aware of your emotional body. Noticing the absence of emotion. And even finding a kind of peace in that. It's also possible that there might be negative or difficult emotions. Perhaps some sadness or fear or anger or another strong, difficult emotion. If negative emotions are present, also doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. Simply notice these emotions. See if you can attend to them patiently, lovingly. Just being present with them, being aware of them, knowing that carefully paying attention to them and being present with them is itself a kind of love, is itself a kind of care. It's as if a toddler were screaming. Just go up to them and be there with them and perhaps hug them or offer to give them food or water, whatever they needed. You just be there with them lovingly, not getting angry at them because they're crying or screaming, just knowing that's how it is for them right now. See if you can give yourself that kind of love if there are negative or difficult emotions present for you. In any case, whatever's happening, feel and be aware of your emotional body. The region from your face to your stomach, centered in your emotional heart area. Notice whatever's present there and 
work skillfully with it. Feel this area of your body. If there are difficult emotions, simply attend to them lovingly, being present with them, not forcing yourself to be different. If there's not much going on, just continue to be aware of this region of your body, becoming more and more attuned to what it feels like and even enjoying the peace that comes with the absence of emotions. And if there are strong feelings of love, if there are positive emotions present, notice those and really enjoy them. if there are any positive emotions at this time. Notice what they're like spatially, where they're located and how big they are. They might be here or there. They might be big or small. But become aware of that. Where they're located and what their size is. Continue to enjoy these emotions. See if you can invite a sense of spreading to these positive emotions. See if you can grow them, stretch them, elongate them. It turns out that when we are mindful of positive emotions in our body, we can cause them to grow, to increase, to spread, to become larger in size and to take up more and more space in our bodies. And they can also grow in intensity. This is a skill that we want to cultivate in loving kindness practice. So if there are positive emotions present for you at this time, perhaps a felt sense of love or gratitude, happiness or joy, notice those feelings, really enjoy them, and allow them to spread or grow. You can't force it, you can't make it happen. But over time, you can learn to invite it, to encourage it. If those positive emotions are present, 
Take advantage of that opportunity. In any case, continue to practice being aware of your emotional body, body, your heart center for another moment. Very good. Now, take a moment to reflect on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you learn anything new? Did you face any challenges? Take a moment to consider and reflect. As you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 